Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a special case here I'm going to show you a different method of how to remove your BIOS pass password or if you have an encrypted or uh, damaged BIOS then you can reprogram it really easy and you can save a lot of money just doing it by yourself by purchasing a simple BIOS program which costs about 8 to 9 dollars you can get this one, I'll leave the link in the video description you can purchase this in uh, Amazon if you want to All right. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to ha have a laptop here. I already opened it up. We're going to set a password on the BIOS. So we're going to power on and we're going to set F10. So people always say like, oh, what if you remove the internal battery? It's going to reset. That's not true. And we're going to demonstrate right in here. So we go to security administrative password. We're going to set it up to, let's say, 09876. I can enter 09876 and continue. So that one is set. We go to power on. I'll set another password in there. It's, I'll put it 12345. 12345. And that's it. You're going to go to exit and save changes. Yes. So the next time I power on, it's going to ask me for a password in here. So if I don't put it, I can't do anything about F10 nothing happens so i'm going to power off this one and once we power it off i already opened the bottom so we're going to remove the charger we're going to remove the battery people are like oh remove the battery and remove the bias battery this laptop doesn't have a bias battery but we're going to remove this one i already removed the screws Look at through my videos if you want to know how to open your specific laptop. So we're going to remove the cover, bottom cover. So we have the bottom cover. There's a bias battery in here, luckily for you guys. So we remove the internal, the external battery. Not all laptops have a, have a BIOS dedicated uh, battery on them. But people are like, okay, remove the battery and let's go grab a tweezer. We are going to remove the internal battery, the CMOS battery, remove it. And usually they're like, okay, press the power on button for a few seconds, hold it. While I'm disconnecting the BIOS battery. And this will reset the uh, password. So let's try it out. So I'm holding it. All right, I hold it for about one minute. Now, after that, people are like, okay, you know what? Create a short between the positive and negative to the BIOS terminals and hold it for a few seconds. So let's do that one here. This will reset the BIOS configuration, but will not erase the BIOS battery. I mean, BIOS uh, password. It will reset the BIOS configurations, but not the password. So we're going to hold it there for a few seconds. You guys can see it's touching between both of them. All right, now we're gonna power it on. Oh, well, let's go ahead. And, let's try powering on without the CMOS battery. So that's an extra layer of trying to reset. So plug in the charger, and we're gonna power it on. And it's gonna take few blinkings because we is gonna reset the password. It's gonna give me a CMOS reset to default. It should say right on the top. So let's reset. Sima checksum invalid. Sima will reset to default configuration. Press enter to reboot. Press enter. It's going to reboot, but it is going to ask for the password. The password does not go away. The password will not go away. It will keep asking for the password. So we remove, we reset, we hold the power button for a few minutes, and it's still going to ask. So that's a no no. All right. So we got that out of the way. Now we can get to the second part. We're going to remove the BIOS battery. We're going to unplug everything. And you're going to look on your motherboard. Every motherboard has a BIOS chip. In this one is right in here. There should be an 8 pin, 4 4 pin. And it should say win bound on top. Now I'll leave the link in and um, picture for every BIOS that they exist. But usually they look like this. Right. Now once you look at your BIOS uh, chip, what you want to do, you want to grab yourself the um, BIOS programmer. 
Uh, here we have the BIOS programmer and you're gonna get the probe here and the programmer will come out like this what you want to do make sure this uh, connector it is plugged in to the first two pins in here there's nothing so this one where the lever is on the last one you want to grab this probe that you have you want to set it just like this towards the last no, here, like this you want to set it like that and then you want to close the lever just like this okay once you have this one in there now you can see on this side is that this clipper here has a tiny tooth on it and it will grab the chip and one of these cables is marked red that means it's a pin number one and if you pay attention right on your chip let me grab a spatula so you guys can see it better I'll use this one over. Uh, every chip every bios chip right in here it will have a little tiny circle in the corner that means that pin is pin number one closer to the this pin hole right here so that's pin number one so what you want to do you want to clamp make sure the red one is clamped towards the first pin right there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna clamp it right on top and it should stay just like this so you guys can see it nicely the red cable with that pin is closer to the uh, pin number one on the bios chip once we have it in this position make sure you don't put it on the metal you don't want to shorten the bottom so grab a workshop towel let's say or whatever or cardboard box put it right on top now you need a secondary computer on a secondary computer before we do anything here we're going to put a hold hold on that you need your uh, laptop information usually it comes on the bottom or uh, on the box it says model 15-bw005la so we're going to go on on the website on the hp website we're going to locate the bios uh, updated bios file here so let's go to the my other computer so let's grab this one here you're going to type hp space 15 dash bw 005 la la because it's a latin american version we're gonna press enter we're gonna go to the hp support.hp website in here it says you should see your model and the picture of the, your laptop and this can be dell hp whichever you want to go to their website and you want to choose your operating system what version of windows doesn't really matter just 64 go down click send you just want to search for the bios in here it says bios firmware just open it up in here i can see there's an update for the bios which is this one version of the bios and the megabyte so we're going to download this one here no just download the file keep the file and open the folder so here we have the bios file i already downloaded this one so we're going to cut this one go to our document folder i already made a folder here open it up i'm going to paste it and repaste and it's going to replace the one already had it before installed so once we have this one in here what you want to do before we do anything you want to uh, open the programmer i'll leave the link for this programmer too you're going to open the programmer once the programmer is opened uh, we are going to connect the pro and the usb to the this adapter we're going to connect it it's going to hear like a red dot it's going to appear and on this program we're going to click detect chip and it's going to detect the chip it says wind bond the memory size 64 megabit and the chip name which is an w25q64 first we're going to do a read data from the chip so we're going to click read data from the chip 
and it's going to take a few process. We're going to read the BIOS chip that what information in this BIOS. What we're going to do here, we're going to create a backup of original BIOS with a password in it. So we're going to create this backup. First, we're going to read it. The flash is reading complete. So here we have, we can scroll down up and down. We can see whatever is inside the BIOS. There should be a whole bunch of gibberish. We're going to save this one to the buffer data. We're going to click save. We're going to go to the folder. We're going to type backup dash or G. So we're going to click save. So it's going to create a backup file right here. So we know this is the original backup with the password that we had is in there. And then what you're going to do here, we're going to click erase chip. And it's going to start erasing the chip. It's going to take a few minutes to erase it. While it's erasing, you want to go see this file that you had downloaded, the exe file. You can either right click on it and extract uh, files or some for the Dell, you might have to extract for HP. You can just double click it. Even if you don't have an HP laptop, which where you're doing this one, doesn't matter, just run it. Click next. I accept, next. And it says it's gonna extract it right in there. It's okay, next. It's gonna extract and it's gonna open up to install the BIOS. But we're not gonna install it, we're just gonna extract it. You're gonna wait a few seconds. It's gonna give me this BIOS update utility, you're going to click next. You want to click copy image to a different location. You don't want to create a USB drive, nothing like that. So click copy, click next. And it says it's going to put it on a document folder. So it's OK, next. Once it's finished, it's going to automatically open the document folder. You're going to click finish. I have my old one here. In the document folder, we're going to see that it created these files here, just the date. So we're going to cut this file, bring it to my folder, which I created for this project, paste it there. Now we can see the original one, the file size is an 8 meg and 192 kilobyte. And it created a file, bin file, with the same file size, there are two of them. So we're going to grab any of these ones. We can test which, whichever you want. First one, I'll go with the first one here. Let's go back to here. The erase is complete, so it's already erased. So what we're going to do, we're going to click open file. We're going to go to the folder, whatever we extracted. We're not going to open the original one. We're just going to open, let's say, uh, 30 or 32. I don't know. Let's try with the number 30, the first one. Open. And then we're going to do write chip, write to the chip. And it's going to write it to the chip. Once it's written, we're going to disconnect the prompt. The, 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 then we're going to disconnect the USB and we're going to power on the laptop. And you should wait up to 30 seconds for it to boot up. And we should have a uh, BIOS without the password. So let's wait for this one to finish. All right, it took about seven minutes and the flashing is finished and it's complete. So we're going to close that, close the program, and we tried the first one right now. So we're going to come back to the laptop and we're going to disconnect it. And we are going to disconnect the USB. So what we're going to do here before we plug in the batteries, anything like that, we're going to test it out. We're going to plug in the power. And we are going to power it on and we're going to see how it works. So I'm going to power it on. I see the power light maybe on. Yep. 
So the screen is gonna be black, the fan's gonna work, so let's see if it's gonna give me anything on the screen here. The fan is going full blast, flashing boot, something came up and 99% unfinished. So let's wait again, it restart and comes back. It's gonna flash a couple of times. I hear the fan, nothing on the display still. We are gonna wait up to a minute two probably. The flashing boot again, something is really quick. So I get another restart, few more flashing. And there we go. Manufacturing programming mode is unlock mode. So pretty much you get an unlocked BIOS. Press escape for a startup. So let's see what happens. Programming, so I'll press F10. And it should take me to a F10 to the BIOS. And we are inside the BIOS. We have the new version of the BIOS, unlocked version. And we can go to the security and everything is cleared out. And that's it. And so easy, you don't have to do any soldering stuff like that. Simple programming uh, tool, you can get it for eight bucks. Find the open up the bottom case, find the chip, prong, uh, put the prong right on top, connect to another laptop, uh, find the from the manufacturing website, find the um, BIOS pin file, or you can research on the internet on the forms, get the right model for your uh, laptop, and make a backup of the BIOS file that you have. and erase and just write down the new one in. If you write down a bad BIOS, nothing's gonna happen, it's just simply not gonna boot up, so you have to erase and find a new one. People are like, oh, if you load a long one, you can destroy your laptop. No, you can't destroy it, we do this all the time. Mistake, by mistake, we sometimes load a different bin file. So that's fine, nothing's gonna happen, just erase it and find the right bin file. Usually you can find the bin files on a, a home website, manufacturing website, you can just, the way I did it, extract it from EXD file, or just look for the forms. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment, I'll try to answer them. Every tool that I use will be linked in the video in the description in case you wanna purchase yours. And by clicking like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions and commentary. I appreciate that. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.